Welcome back to the Paranormal Review. Thanks a lot for watching. And today we have a recent video uploaded on August 19th, 2014 called Sasquatch Sighting Near Squamish, August 16th, 2014. And then they say, after hiking to the top of Panorama Ridge near Black Tusk Mountain, we spot what appears to be a Sasquatch, Yeti, or Bigfoot type animal. And then they say this was shot on an iPhone 5S zoomed in to maximum. I don't know why they feel like they have to highlight that so much. Also, it's kind of weird that they put this date here. Um, this is shot supposedly in the same location as M. Lamb's video, which we reviewed recently, called Possible Sasquatch Outside Squamish, B.C., um, which actually got about 1.2 million views. And uh, they just happened to like, you can see here, Elephant, upload, Elephant Room Creative uploaded their video two days ago, and they liked that other video two days ago. It kind of makes me think that they were going up there, found that video, and decided to make their own thing, but let's watch this footage. It's not the dude. Dude, no, it is. Yeah. You think so? It has to be. Real quick, I'm going to have to, I'm going to edit this video. I'm not, ed not going to edit the video. I'm going to edit the audio. There's so many F words in this video that... It just kind of ruins the video for me, you know. I mean, uh, whatever I'm swearing, but come on. There's like 30 F words in this whole entire in this video, and it's just ridiculous. And a lot of them are way overpronounced. Maybe I'll just leave them in, but I, I kind of feel bad leaving those in if there's children or something watching the show. So. It just looks like such a big thing for such a like. He's hauling it down that mountain. <laughs> I'm not for sure. <laughs> but he's like just going. To... He's not on a trail, guys. This is this is not. All right, so you see the creature here? It was up here a little bit further, but then they raised the camera up in there, and I don't know what they were doing or why. That, that kind of... If you have a Bigfoot in your sights, why are you doing that, right? Let's 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 play this again. It's not the dude. You can see it right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You think so? It has to be. It just looks like such a big thing for such a... Like... He's hauling it down that... Mountain. Watch camera up in the air. <laughs> Maybe he needs to reshuffle a suit or get ready to run better. I don't know. What are we looking at? Seriously, are we all seeing the same thing? Right? <laughs> yeah. Yo. <coughs> if you see a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot, are you gonna start screaming at it or are you gonna observe it? It stopped. Yeah. I don't think that's a person, guys. Look at. I'm zoomed in as much as I can on this thing. What the f Paul, what's, like, what's over there? Dude, but the way it's walking, the way it's, it's like walking this. like up. <laughs> it's walking down, not up. No way you can cover that ground. Yeah, you're, you're just, just going person. down the side of a glacier? No way, man. And by yourself, just, and it's dark. What the f like, it doesn't look dark. It looks about 7 p.m. 6, 6, 5.30, 6, 7-ish. I mean, it's not noon or anything, but it doesn't look dark. Alright, guys. I'm going to have to say this one is a fake. Um, first of all, it seems like they're influenced by that last video that was taken in this area. And they thought, hey, we can make a better one with less snow. Um, also, everything about this video seems to be maybe giving them opportunities to signal their friend to do certain actions. For example, when you first see it, it's kind of moving down the mountain. Then he moves the camera up in the air. And I don't know if he did some hand signals or whatever. It would have been smarter to have his friends do that, so maybe I'm wrong. But then they're screaming at it, and right when they're screaming at it, it stops. Right? If you nor Normally, if you scream at an animal, what does it do? It usually runs away and hides. <laughs> it doesn't just stand there. So, I mean, that kind of maybe it was a signal to stop. I'm gonna do some zoom ins here. Um, during, through, right, right, probably right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in on this thing, show you a little bit of a closer up of, as far as the quality we can get of it. But I'm not convinced that this is a real Bigfoot. Um, I have still the same concerns with the last one. Why is there a Bigfoot up there in the mountains instead of down near a river or a lake where most sightings um, have occurred, where you know there's access to some kind of a water source? I mean, I guess there could be a melted glacier down there that they. The Bigfoot could could eat, but uh, or drink, and uh, animals that are also using that to eat. So I could be wrong there, but from what I 
can see this creature does not look abnormally huge. I know it's kind of far away, but you can't. There's nothing really to measure it against, so it's kind of hard to tell. It could be real, um, but just the reactions. These guys don't seem like the brightest crew in the world. They, um, <laughs> I don't know. Just, just the reactions. They ask us at a Bigfoot way too many times. What is that? Too many times, over and over and over again throughout the entire video. I don't think it's a legitimate um, reaction that you would have. You know, I mean, just think about it. If you're on the forest or out, or this isn't really a forest, but if you're on the mountain, just like they were, and you saw a real Sasquatch, would you scream and scream and yell? I would probably stay quiet and observe it, try to get, you know, some better camera footage and not try to scare it away or draw attention to yourself because, you know what, Bigfoots might be scary. <laughs> we don't know yet. Anyways, guys, until next time, please subscribe. Send us your footage if you have anything interesting that you'd like us to review. Thanks a lot.